from communities. Let's get over to first alert forecaster Cassandra Gutierrez. Uh, Cassandra, what are we seeing tonight? Well, Dylan, like you talked about just earlier with a couple of those PIOs, we're definitely seeing some increased fire activity, especially with these hot spots. Taking a look at the Dixie Fire map, containment, and li containment lines, not much different than what we saw just yesterday. But if you see to the more northern, western parts of where the Dixie Fire is burning, you're seeing some of those hot spots indicated there in that red and in the yellow. To the more southeastern parts of where the Dixie Fire is burning, we're also seeing some of that older hot spot activity. But zooming in there, Containment lines still remaining similar near Herlog region. We're still about four miles away from that area, eight miles from the Portola area. Things really haven't changed much there, but take a look at that. Your screen shows old station. That's now 3.9 miles around the fire perimeter. This is not updating the most recent activity to the minute, but really the latest fire perimeter available to us on their website here. But taking a look at the distance from parts of Manzanita, Lake still about five miles away from there, according to our latest radar, 12 miles from South Shore Eagle Lake still and containment lines near Westwood and other parts of the center of where this Dixie fire is burning remain the same. Taking a look at the hot spot, we did see a little bit of containment increase along the hot spot earlier yesterday. Taylorsville, we're still about a mile away. Containment line remains the same there. The McFarland fire, we're still 98% contained, waiting to wrap up that containment line line there along the southeastern western parts excuse me but here at the monument fire we're looking at newer activity in that red hot spot activity to the more southwestern parts of where the monument fire is burning and to the more northeastern parts to where the fire is burning as well still remaining the same where those older containment lines are near junction city and other parts especially around the center of the fire but definitely looking at increased containment lines hopefully in the coming days here for this monument fire but we're about to get here to the hay press fire which we really want to see that new activity there you're seeing that to the northeast of where the fire is burning all of that newer hot spot activity in that orange color there inching towards highway three near coffee creek and you see that now the perimeter lines let me just show you has not updated there but you saw that there earlier in the orange inching towards highway three right there all right and we'll continue to keep our eyes on that and we'll come back to you later in the show for more thank you so much cassandra our final